this video, we will explain the key points for installing remote controller CZRTC4, CZRTC5, and CZRTC6 series. Please read the safety precautions for remote controller installation in the installation manual. Make sure to turn off the circuit breaker of the units before installation and please follow respective country's electrical rule. Here are the required tools and materials to install the remote controllers. For CZAC RTC4 and CZAC RTC5 series, please install 1 to 1.5 meters vertically from the floor. If you are installing more than one remote controller, please ensure a distance of 5 mm or more for side-by-side -side position and at least 50 mm or more for controllers installed top and bottom. As for CZAC RTC6 series, please keep at least 50 mm from other devices and 1 to 1.5 meter vertically from the floor. Remote controllers should not be installed near window. Keep a distance of 1 meter or more from TV, radio and PCs. It should also avoid sunlight, moisture and direct air. Please refer to the specification table for wires and terminal. You may find this information in the manual. This is an example of good remote controller termination. This is an example of wiring if the connection is to several in the units. If connect two remote controllers to in the unit, or if connect two in the units to remote controller, please refer to the diagram. You can find the four pole terminal board at the indoor unit. Use the R1 and R2 terminal to connect with remote controller using ring pressure terminals. You will need a flat screwdriver to open the remote controller. For CZAC RTC4 and CZAC RTC5, insert the screwdriver and slightly turn it to open the remote controller. For CZAC RTC6 series, insert the screwdriver and lift to open the remote controller. For CZAC RTC4 model, Place the back cover on the wall and mark the holes for screw. Connect the wires to terminal 1 and 2. Close the top cover once done. For CZAC RTC 6 series, you are required to cut here with a cutter. Push the sheath into the back and insert the wire properly into the channel on the bottom case. And make sure that the wire is not pinched when the case is attached to the wall. Mark the holes. and secure the back cover on the wall with screws. Connect the wires to terminal 1 and 2. Then, lay the wire out along the groove and secure with a cable tie. Put the locking part of the cable tie in the channel. Close the top cover by aligning the claws of the top case and then the claws of the bottom case. After installation, proceed to configuration. Please refer to the instruction booklet before your installation.
Panasonic.